You could be fined thousands of dollars every month if your website does not comply with the EAA web accessibility standards in the European Union. I know you want to avoid that. I do too. I'm going to show you how to use a free plugin by Elementor. It's called Alley. It helps with your web accessibility. It's probably the easiest setup you've ever seen for any web accessibility solution. We'll set it up in just a few minutes and you'll be compliant and hopefully those fines will not be coming your way. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Now let's get started. So the EAA, the European Accessibility Act, came into effect on June 28th, 2025 and penalties can be quite large. You want to avoid those. And this comes on the heels of the WCAG, the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines, which applies to other places outside of the European Union, although Canada has a different one called the ACA. But either way, it's all the same idea. It's all web accessibility, and there's some massive fines here too. So let's avoid those fines. <laughs> let's do that as easily as possible as well. That's where this plugin comes in by Elementor. It works on any website. It does not require you to use Elementor or even use WordPress, I believe. It works on any kind of website. Click on get it for free. Down here, you see the free option. And this is free forever. You get less stuff, obviously. That's how stuff like this works. The, the more you pay, the more you get. But the free version is pretty generous and it might be all that you need just to get started. But if you look at the price tag for these fines, it's a little ridiculous for some of them, hundreds of thousands of dollars. That would probably be charged to companies like Apple and Google. You and me wouldn't get fines like that, but do we even want to pay fines of 5,000, 1,000? Not really, I don't anyway. So I feel like a paid plan for four bucks a month is, is kind of a no brainer in my humble opinion. But no matter which one of these you sign up for, there's a link in the description down below. Even for the free account, if you click on that and sign up, I will get a credit. It does not make it more expensive for you. Free $0 and I get a $0 credit for that. But if you end up upgrading in the future to one of these other plans, I might get a credit for that depending on when you upgrade. And again, doesn't make it more expensive for you. It just supports me in this channel if you like what I'm doing. And I want to show you how to install this on your site so you can get your web accessibility in line on target today. So if you're on the Elementor website, click on get it for free, then you create an account and you log in and set that up. Let's go to the checkout right now and it'll be $0 for the checkout. If you already have an Elementor account, you could sign into that first. I'm signed in right now actually to my account. And then when this is all tickety-boo, click on start free trial and it'll be in your Elementor account. Then you can just sign into Elementor. It'll probably auto log you in when you click on start free trial. I already have it added to my account, so I'll just log into it. And then once you're logged in, just click on your little icon up here, go to subscriptions. And you're gonna see Ali in this list somewhere. Mine's at the very top. Click on download zip. This will download the plugin to your hard drive. And then we can log into any WordPress dashboard. We can go to plugins and add plugin. Then click on upload plugin. Then we drag and drop the file we just downloaded into here or click on choose file to find it on our hard drive. Click on install now and then activate. I already have it installed on this website, so I'm not gonna install it again, obviously, but those are the steps. Just click on install now once you have this plugin here and then click on activate and you're ready to rock and roll. So once that is installed, on the left-hand side, we have a new menu item called Alley. When you're installing this for the first time, you'll be connecting this to your Elementor account on this step as well, where you just click a, a link that says connect, just like connecting with the regular Elementor plugin and it'll connect to Elementor, it'll see you have Ali in your account and everything will be set up. And then once those two are connected, your website is compliant. If we visit it right now without setting anything up, you will see the Ali icon right here. Click on that and you have all these web compliance options. I'm gonna show you what these all mean right now. So back into the dashboard, we can use the scans to see how accessible our website is. We can click on design to choose the look and feel of the widget, this widget that we see in the bottom corner here. We can choose the icon, the size, the shape, the color. We can choose where to show it on desktop and mobile. You can even hide it on desktop or mobile. I don't know why you would. And you can have exact positioning. So if the bottom left corner is pretty close to where you want it, but you want to move it 25 pixels to the right, you can do that by just doing that. Then click on save changes to make sure all your changes are saved. We also have compatibilities, which is the list of things the plugin will do. 
If you have the free plan, you will not have all these options. The paid plan gives you all of them. Any paid plan gives you all these. The free will be a subset of these, but the free plan does a whole lot and it might be enough for what your website's doing. I'm gonna add this one in there. Click on save changes. You can choose which ones you want. I don't see why you turn any of them off, to be honest. Just keep them all. And then we have a web accessibility statement. This can be auto-generated. So I click on yes, I need one or no, I already have one. I'm gonna click on yes, I need one because I don't have one. Let's pretend I don't have one. Click on that, click on continue, enter your company name. I'm gonna give it this website URL since we're on this website, but that's not the actual URL for this company. And email, and here's the demo accessibility statement right there. Click on create statement and page. Then it creates a page inside of WordPress and it links it right here and it links it on your widget. So if we go back out to our widget here and we refresh, if we click on that to open it, we see the accessibility statement right there. So now we're compliant already, out of the box. We're compliant because a customer or a visitor of your site can come and use any of these options. It's actually quite cool. And in fact, hold on, let me try this. Does it translate? Okay, so it translates the options here, but not the text on the page. I thought this might be another way to translate all the content on your website. That'd be pretty cool. Let's stay with English because that's the one I can read the best. And as far as the settings go, that's all there is. We have analytics as well, where you can see analytics. This is just a demo site, so there's not much going on. So analytics will always be zero, pretty much for this site. I wanna show you, before we do a scan, I wanna show you the capabilities and how they work. We have our widget down here. If we scroll down, click on that. If we choose bigger text, it makes the text bigger. Watch this text on the right hand side. I keep clicking it, it gets bigger and bigger. It's gonna throw off the design of your website, but uh, that's your visitor's choice, right? You can you make the perfect website for the perfect sizes and everything, but then if they want to be or choose these options to be able to consume the content better, that's up to them. You can choose bigger line height. If you combine that with bigger text, this would really throw off your website or the design of it, but that's okay. Text align, aligns it left or right. Readable font, changes the font to... I don't know what the most readable font is. Let's see if we can find out. Arial, sans serif. That was gonna be my guess, but I didn't guess it. Anyway, changes the font to Arial, because that's the most readable font apparently. And if we close this, we see a little check mark here. That means we have something going on. We have something set in our accessibility options. And when you click on any of these, they will change color. So if I hover, they get the outline color the color that we chose inside of our settings. Wait for it, under design. Let's change it to purple. And you'll see that the color changes to purple, including the highlighting. There we go, we're all purple. Highlighting's purple. If we click on something and it's selected, we see it has an outline. If it wasn't grayscale that I selected, it'd be a purple outline. Let's do readable font. So it's got a purple outline. All the ones you pick will have an outline. You can pick as many options as you want, or your visitor can. Grayscale is quite dramatic, makes everything grayscale. When we have lots of options picked, we can click on reset to change them back or turn them all off, I mean. For contrast, we can choose dark contrast, which is kind of like dark mode, but it's different because it also does the WordPress admin bar up here. We can have light contrast and high contrast. We can see the page structure, which allows you to see all the sections of the page. You click on any one of them and it zips right to it and you can read about that content there. We have a link to the sitemap, easy access, because some websites, most websites in fact, don't link to all the pages on the website from the homepage or from any page. There's lots of hidden pages, which people can find through the sitemap if they wanted to which improves accessibility. And we can also use the screen reader option. If I click on something, oh, they'll read that piece specifically. Ingredients. Ensure unlabeled you element. can have them read normal, read fast, read, fast, read, read slow. slow, or not read at all. You can have a reading mask, which highlights an area as you're reading, helps you focus on that specific part. You can hide all the images, which hides 
image tags, I believe, because background images are still here. So CSS applied images will not be turned off. You can pause animations. Sometimes headers have animations that might flicker, that might cause seizures, or might do something with people's eyes. Who knows? But you can pause them, or the erasers can. You have outline focus, which is for keyboard navigation. Let's close this. If I tab on my keyboard, you see that outline appearing? It's going from link to link. So then on a keyboard, I can see exactly where we are. Then I hit enter on a specific link. It'll take me to that place on the website. And then I can tab some more and it takes me to where I want to go. So it's way easier for someone who navigates via keyboard to have this outline focus available. Let's go back to the home page. And we can also, the last one here is highlight links. Click on that and links are highlighted. These are the colors you get. Unless you dive into the CSS of the plugin, you can't change them, but they're pretty good. They must be chosen for a reason, right? This is an accessibility plugin created specifically for accessibility by Elementor. And Elementor has a big budget. They know what they're doing. So there must be a reason they chose yellow and orange for these colors. And that's all the accessibility widgets that we have available to us. And again, you can turn them on and off on the capabilities tab super easily. If we go to the scans, it'll scan our homepage. And the free version has free scans for a limited time. So if you want to hop onto the free scan bandwagon, you better get this plugin quick. And then the paid version has more scans. And these renew every time frame. I'm pretty sure they probably renew every year, these scans. So if I go into our dashboard, click on scan homepage, Let's see what the results are. An accessibility assistant pops up on the right. It's currently in beta and it's going to work. So homepage has 18 issues. None of them are fixed. We're missing alternative text, alt text on images. This is the shopping bag icon. So I could mark this as a decorative image. They don't need to have descriptions. Or I could say, if I could do capital C, which I can't, cart icon. I can't do shift C because it opens up this notes panel. But watch this, watch this sneaky thing. There we go. Do it up there. Then click on resolve and that will add the alt text to that image. So you can go through and fix all these things. I'm just gonna do this really quick. I'll fast forward while I fix these images. You can also choose to click this icon right here and generate this text with AI. An error occurred. Probably I don't have enough credits to use the AI. But if you do have AI credits, we can do this even faster. Okay, sweet. Work through all those. We're 44% done. That's awesome. Keyboard and assistive technologies. Elements users can tab to must be correctly labeled as interactive. So for some reason, this icon here is not labeled as interactive. Let's see if we can let AI resolve this for us. Resolve with AI wants to add this to that image. Let's click on apply fix and see what happens. Looks like that worked. Visible label mismatch. Let's let AI do it. That's so easy. Just let AI do it and cross our fingers and hope it's correct. All right, apply fix, go. That's pretty sweet. That's so easy with the AI. I'm not sure why the AI didn't work for the alternative, tech, alternative text, but it worked for the second one. Page structure and navigation. Content outside landmarks. All content must be placed inside clear sections or landmarks. There is something outside of a section. Where is it? Screen reader. Not sure where that is on the page. I'm going to click on markers resolved. I hope that's right. Uh, another one. This is a button. The close menu button. This is probably on mobile when we have the ability to open and close menus. That's the wrong one. If I go to inspect, we have our menu here. It's probably not working because of this accessibility assistant. But our hamburger menu, when you click on that, it opens. And then when you click on the X, it closes. And that's probably what, what this is. Let's skip this one for now. Get back to that later. We have a color contrast and in style, insufficient color contrast. So this is where 
the design of your website starts to matter a lot because this white color they're saying the app is saying is too close to the pinky color in the background so it's hard for people to read and the same goes for these numbers same goes for surprising that the red on white would be insufficient contrast Uh, this one for sure with the colored background makes it hard to read. So you can change your design to be compliant with these things. Or if you want more contrast, they have the contrast widget here and everything's gone. Must be because we're in the assistant. Uh, but they can use these options in the accessibility icon that we saw earlier and address these things. So I'm going to mark these as resolved because I don't want to address these because I want them to use Alley down here in the bottom left corner. So let's mark all these as resolved. And we're at 94%. That's pretty sweet. Let's X out of here. Let's go back to here. If we refresh, I wonder if it has some data on our scans and what we did to improve. Keep in mind it's still in beta. So if there's no data here, I understand. There is data here. So we have one scanned URL, issues resolved, level A, AA, and AAA issues must be how important they are. And now if we go back just really quick, I want to show you that this contrast issue we had for the menu, it's super easy for people to just choose the contrast option and then it changes the contrast and makes it work better. Kind of ruins our image up here, but you know what? When you mess around these kind of things, that kind of happens. So even if you don't fix every single thing, through the accessibility scan, you should try to, but even if you don't, you have these options inside of Alley to make this happen. And a lot of these options, in fact, most of them are available with the free version. And scans are available right now with the free version. Let's see if it says when they'll end. It says the offer ends September 19th, and I believe that's the 50% off offer. It doesn't say anything about when these scans, free scans are done. But if anything, just install Alley today do some free scans on your website and see what you need to fix. And for free, also free forever, keep in mind, you have this icon down here with a bunch of different accessibility options. So at least you're doing something to be compliant and try to avoid massive fines. The likelihood of you getting hit with one of these fines, unless you're a big company, is probably pretty small. But why take the chance? Especially because Ali is free. Or at least there's a free version. If you want to check it out, click the link in the description down below. It'll take you to this page. Click on get it for free and follow the steps in this video to set it up. And you'll be one step closer to compliant, which is awesome. If you found this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe to let me know. And then check out this video on the screen right now, which is all about Elementor's AI Site Builder. It's going to help you wireframe and design websites that are worth thousands of dollars in just a few minutes. So make sure you check that out. I'll see you there.